for deceptive editing is notorious for asking people misleading questions based on false premises. James, can you please? Green socks. Can you just please name one particular edit in particular in the last decade? That is a really interesting caveat in the last decade. Why did you put that in there, James? Because on our website, it lists one or two corrections I've made in my entire career. And on our wall at headquarters are 378 corrections made by the media. So when you say you deceptively edit, I would like you to give me one example. Because no journalist is perfect. Everyone makes mistakes. Admittedly, I have. No journalist is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> this guy looks like a crypto scammer. So it's not just his conduct and what he's done. It's the fact that it's overt. I mean, he's not just robbing the bank. He's running down the block with a ski mask and a big ass duffel bag. He's sweating profusely. He's looking over his shoulder. The alarm is going off. It's like, who looks at this guy and doesn't see exactly what he is? It's like, it's obvious. It's obvious. I have a website with two corrections specifically from 2011. Other than that, that's 11 years ago. We've done hundreds of undercover investigations. Can you name one edit, sir? Well, my understand. Can you name one edit? So this is for those of you that are not familiar. This is a very common tactic used by manipulators. They create a lot of noise. They're always doing some kind of scheme and multiple scandals. And the more they do that stuff, it actually helps them. It provides cover because it becomes overwhelming for critics to keep track of all the crap that they've done. So you can ask questions like this because who on earth can keep track of all the stuff that James O'Keefe has been doing for so long since I've been following him from way, way back over a decade uh, at the Wall Street where he was just as slimy, right? So unless you're, you're particularly obsessed with him, you're not going to remember every single little thing that he's done, and it becomes sort of jumbled in your mind. Now, if you were going to debate him specifically about his tactics, then of course you would come prepared with specific examples, but otherwise, you get a lot of other stuff in your brain to memorize and s information that's in there. You're probably just going to have a general sense of his sliminess, and you're not going to be able to, on the spot, remember a specific edit. You know what I mean? And that's the whole point of this technique. It's very, very effective. You can do this effectively and make your opponent look bad because, on average, they're not going to be able to point out a specific example. And then when they don't, you say, ah, look at this. All the stuff you're saying, you can't even present one example. Very, very effective technique. That's why I rank, uh, one of the reasons why I rank James as an elite propagandist he is really really good at what he does he's on the level of ben shapiro of stephen crowder and of course tim pool then is that after the case that originally made you notorious uh, multiple states attorney general said that when you looked at the full uh, the full acorn footage uh that it had been deceptively uh, deceptively edited now maybe those multiple states attorney general are wrong about that maybe you just paid out uh because you know that was prudent and not because you thought so he actually does bring up an example, not a specific edit. He's not referencing an edit, which was the question that was asked. But he is referencing an example of one of the many, many James O'Keefe uh, scandals. I'm, I'm well aware of the Acorn scandal. Now, that being said, James O'Keefe was so confident. Or give me one example, whatever. And regardless of the fact that, again, this is not an example of an edit, is James going to respond in any way to this scandal that he's bringing up? Is he going to shut this down and say, well, no, acorn, blah, blah, blah. Or is he going to just move on? Thought you would lose, uh, that you'd lose in court. But given that, not 10 minutes ago, you lied about something I had just said two seconds ago. You'll forgive me if I don't take your word for that one. So... The fact that he just jumped to an accusation of lying that happened recently kind of uh, kind of gave, let's say, put a wrench in things because now you kind of put things in a different direction now. So now James is probably going to use that switch that you just made 
and avoid the acorn thing completely. I didn't realize that's, that's what he did. If he had just stopped on acorn, and then we could see what the response would be. But by him jumping and saying, you just lied, naturally, James is going to need to come up with some kind of a slick rebuttal regarding the fact or the claim that he lied. And let's see what that is. One. What did I lie about? I just said it twice, but I'll say it a third time. I'll release the full raw video tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. I'm like I said, this guy is really good. He's done this before, too, with this uh, releasing the raw video. He has been doing this for a very, very long time. So he, like myself, has observed a pattern of behavior when you have an audience that is captivated with you, the level that his audience is. Like his audience idolizes him. They see him as some kind of a hero. He's a real journalist and he's going out there getting out the real news and the stuff that mainstream media doesn't want you to see. And, uh, you know, he's 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 doing the real work when he puts stuff out there. He, he does the, the groundwork and makes sure it's accurate. And right. That's how they see him. So they don't see him objectively. They don't see him critically. Right. So he can literally frame things in a certain way, lead you in a certain direction and show you a raw video that might actually challenge his position. But the raw video will only make his position stronger. I think us as humans, we don't realize how vulnerable we are because of the effect of our emotions. The idea that I can present to you raw video of something that might challenge my position, and yet it has the opposite effect of strengthening my position is actually quite amazing. And this is what I've seen James done multiple times what he utilizes is this effect where people see what they want to see right so if i'm very persuasive in my argument leading you in a certain direction and i have this level this power over you as a form of a demagogue then i'm gonna let you get to the position where you're accepting the narrative that i'm 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 pushing towards and when i say i'm gonna release the raw video that makes you even more vulnerable in terms of you're going to even more believe in what I'm saying, right? Because why would I present raw video unless I'm sure in what I'm saying that it's true? So the fact that you're willing to show the raw video is a powerful statement. And that's the point. And then the final piece comes in. Many won't watch the raw video. Raw video, probably boring, <laughs> right? One to sit down and watch like a 45 minute video of like people talking. So most won't watch it because of the lack of entertainment value. So that's perfect. You've presented a very convincing argument. They've accepted it because they trust you and they drop their guard when they listen to you because they, they idolize you, right? Then you present it like, I'll show the raw video. Now they're even more convinced that what you're saying is true. And the fact that they're not even going to bother looking at the, the raw video, good to go. You've won. That's it. End of story. They will argue to the death that whatever you presented is the truth. Somebody else say something, no, 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 whatever, whatever. where's your evidence? Da, da, da. Well, how come every time he does it, the media, they always have to do retract, retract, right? This is, this is the same kind of effect you see with scams or members of cults. They can be so convinced and have their minds so twisted up that they don't even know what the hell is going on. And they absolutely will defend to the death whatever it is, whatever narrative that influence. Me if I don't take your word for that one. What did I lie about? I just said it twice, but I'll say it a third time. I'll release the full raw video tomorrow. Yeah, I'm, sh I'm sure you... And you see the audience response, so you know where the audience sees lie. I, I will be fascinated. I will be fascinated to see if it's actually the full video, but what you lied about... So, just want to point out, this, this is basically what I just explained to you. The power of that statement. Most of these people that are clapping and cheering are not going to watch the raw video. I can guarantee you that, right? But you see the effect. Yes, he's going to show the raw video. Mm, yeah, got him, got him. Come and want to tell James. Da, 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 da. James, he, he knows what he's saying is the truth, and he, he's, he's prepared to show you the raw video. You got nothing. Can't stand these liberals. Liberals are always lying. Right. Well played, James. Out for the third time what is, is that uh, is that you said, why do you think it's okay for this New Jersey teacher to say the N-word. I obviously did not say and do not think that it's okay. That is just a lie. That is okay. just a blatant mischaracterization of what I just said. So, so, so he asked him, what did he lie about? He's just told him what he lied about, right? So, oh, give me something within the last 10 years. Here's something that just happened on this very same day. 
And he just very clearly went through what the lie was. So is Mr. James the journalistic god? Is he about to crush him and tell him how he didn't lie? Or is he going to retract himself? So, so just because I, I think we might end up going wait, in wait, 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 what? Why is Tim Pool speaking? Wait, wait, what? James asked, what did I lie about? He says what the lie is. And now Tim Pool is jumping in. Can we hear James respond to, to he said, you, uh, he asked the, what, what was the lie? Here's a lie. Okay. Can we hear James response? Acknowledge that he did lie or challenge how it wasn't a lie. Why is Tim Pool jumping in here? Two scumbags doing what scumbags do. Of what I just said. So, so, so just because I, I think we might end up going in circles. And notice how he always, <laughs> again, these people are, it's like, they're really good because of the audience that they, they, that they, um, they target for whatever reason they're susceptible to these techniques. Just listen. No, 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 it's crypto. It's really good crypto. No, 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 characterization of what I just said. So, so, let, so just because I, I think we might end up going in circles, understood your point? Uh, I, I wonder if we can advance this and I'll make a point. Uh, people often say to me that James O'Keefe is deceptive or manipulative. I'll ask why, and they might say he deceptively edits. I'll, I'll ask the same thing. I'm like, okay, absolutely. Where, when, how? And uh, there's, no, there's, there's never been an example presented to me. There's been an argument that- An example was just presented. You're jumping in right after an example of him lying was presented to give an anecdotal story that no one's ever presented an example, even though one was just presented to you. This is how Tim Pool rolls. And he's going into such an elaborate story. And this is, the, this is how the audience gets so dragged around all over the place. And they don't see what is being hidden from them. The guy just presented where he lied. And then right away, he didn't even get to finish what he was saying. Tim Pool jumps right in with his whole story. And this and that, 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 no, 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 example. Yeah, exactly. Ha, ha, ha. Woo, good job, Tim Pool. Ha, <laughs> ha, you're so good. Tim Pool is a genius. He's a real journalist. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The guy just presented a lie that he just made the same day. Why are you clapping for Tim Pool deflecting onto something else? Wow. That, oh, sometimes the, the, the people who he's speaking to, maybe the context isn't as, 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 verbo, like, as grand as <laughs> maybe James framed it. But I, I like to point to, I think it was Channel 4 in the UK that did undercover journalism the exact same way that James O'Keefe did. When they did it, it was... Are you sure it's the exact same way? ...on Brexit, and it was celebrated across the media sphere. I think he's using another effective manipulation tactic. He's trying to make... Uh, he's trying to present this undercover journalism as a single thing. So anyone else that does undercover journalism is doing the same thing that James is doing. Ignoring how James chooses to do his undercover journalism and what particular angles he takes and topics he takes on, what his potential motivations might be, any patterns of behavior. Let's admit all of that. James does undercover journalism. Channel 4 did undercover journalism. It's the same thing. For some reason, Channel 4 gets rewarded. James looks like he, people look, attack him as he's doing something bad. It doesn't make any sense. It's hypocrisy. Right. So I'm just like, look, if I can look to Project Veritas and I can look to Channel 4 and I can see them doing the exact same thing and you can't present evidence of... I think he's going to get a nice clap from me. <laughs> Suckers! ...wrongdoing, I can only see undercover journalism being done. Why should I make a negative assumption? So, J yeah. Good one. Look at him. He's, he's feeling himself right now. He's like, yeah, I got him. Got him. <laughs> and James still has not responded to the accusation that he lied. James, do you, do you feel that the N-word insinuation that you put on Ben was fair? Oh, so the host is not letting that slip by. This should be interesting. I haven't seen this response yet. Let's see what he has to say. Uh, well, uh, uh, well. Let's see how he, let's see, let's see. I'm guessing he's going to spin it. He's going to try to leave a decoy. He's going to like, what, what about ism or he's going to dance around. Let's see. 
Well, you'll see the full raw video tomorrow. Okay, he's back on the raw video. Raw video! I'm putting out the raw video, guys! If I, I, if I was wrong, why would I put out the raw video? That would be stupid, wouldn't it? Uh, so. so that's his biggest response. I'm putting out the raw video tomorrow. Keep in mind the question I was asked. Him showing the raw video has no context. He's been asked for an opinion. He's been asked, in his opinion, does he feel that what he did was fair? Showing the raw video has absolutely no relevance whatsoever to whether he feels that he was actually being honest or not, that he was being fair. James, James, James. He is just too predictable at this point. I guess I've been monitoring his antics for so long. He basically did exactly what I predicted he would do, and the effect was exactly as I predicted. He did, in fact, uh, um, post the full interview, right? Most of the people are not going to watch it, but for those who do, they will watch this video and see what they want to see. Now, remember, the whole claim was that James made it seem as if Ben was okay with the use of the N-word, <coughs> and he was asked whether whether that was a fair um, sort of assertion to make against Ben, right? And he kept talking about he's going to show the video, he's going to show the video. So one would expect the video to show that Ben did in fact say he was okay with the use of the word, but he in fact did not. In fact, if you watch the video and you go specifically to 4 minutes and 24 seconds, you will hear him actually specifically say that that is not what he meant so he so in the very video that james posted ben proves that james did in fact lie because ben challenges the lie in the moment and says no that is not what i meant so he's posting a video james is posting a video that basically proves that he did in fact lie but remember what i said the audience would do see exactly what they want to see Read the comments on this video. This dude is master at gaslighting. Thank you, James, for calling me out. So James is the one that's gaslighting. And watching this video, which proves that fact, has this guy thinking that the opposite is true. This is a common pattern I've seen in America where you have people that get so caught up in propaganda that they believe that up is down and left is right. I mean, it's insane. Look, look, at, look at all the comments. This guy so needed to be exposed. So they think that this video is exposing him. A video that shows that James actually did lie and try to mischaracterize what, what Ben said. All these people sat here and watched the raw video. That is a level of control that you can have over humans, especially in this country in particular, with propaganda. You can literally show evidence that this proves something and yet they will see it as the exact opposite. Because again, that's the emotional effect that James and Shapiro and Crowder and Tim Pool have mastered exploiting. They are very, very good at this. They know that they can get away with this kind of stuff. This show the raw video tactic is very, very effective once you have this level of control over your audience. Amazing or not. So think about the fact that he's asked this question and his first response is not absolutely I was fair because he said da 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 and such and such. And that. No, his first thing is the thing that he got applause from before. Oh, I'm put out a raw video tomorrow. Slimy bastard. I don't, you know, the, the, the journalism. Now he sounds like Dimbu. Uh, 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 now, listen to, listen to how we, you see, he's basically doing what I predicted. It seems like. Right, because the first thing is, raw video tomorrow. Like, the question is, do you feel it was fair? Response, oh, I'm doing a raw video tomorrow. What? Now he's saying, the thing about journalism, what? Remember I said decoy or deflection or what about him? He's talking about journalism. No, what is your opinion? Do you think you were fair in this moment? Wow. It's about facts. It's about, there's only one reality. There's a conversation that Ben and I had in the hallway, and you'll see it. And we can try to characterize it and play this silly game of... of or we could just quote man, what you said that I didn't will, say. We can, we can do this, we but do at the end of the day, it happened. You'll see all of it. And I Again, his biggest thing is you're going to see the video. <laughs> That's his biggest argument. You're going to see the video. Was it fair or was it not fair? It's a yes or no question. Was it fair? Was it not fair? Yes or no? 
Why is he dancing around? The thing about journalism is this fact. There's only one fact, and I'm going to show the video. And yeah, the full video. And the full video, guys. Woo! Jane, full video! <laughs> I, I really believe in what Tim said. Look, it's, look, it, look, see that uncomfortable shifting in his seat? You, you saw that, that little uh, uh, squirming around? I see your team. Look, looking down at the ground, trying to think of what kind of <laughs> deflections he can go. <laughs> wah, wah. Tim Pool is like, man, <laughs> you're drowning, buddy. <laughs> it's, you know, every fact. You saw that, that shifting back of the shoulders? What's going on, man? What, what, what's this body language telling us? What does that body language tell us about Mr. Jane? Look at him. Does he look very confident right now? You see how he's holding himself up? He's sitting in the chair, and he's supporting himself with his hand, his, his, uh, his left hand. And he's looking down. <laughs> what's going on here, man? You know, every fact loads some value, and every value loads some facts. So now so you say some stuff, some sophistry. Every fact loads some value, and every every value loads some facts. So the thing about it is, uh, the fact of here's here's here, 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 here's the strange. So j j journalism is the the craft of manufacturing the language and the communication, and the communication is 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 such that you see, listen. I, and everybody, I'm going to show the full video tomorrow. And when you see the full video, the full video. Anyway, uh, so, 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 hey, listen. You know, we could play little games. We could play little games about this and that. And was this a lie? And was that a lie? And, you know, there's a subjective nature to the communication and exercise that, uh, that we do in journalism. And journalism is such an art that it is, is, a, is a form of communication. And they think about it, the matter of the fact is that this guy, he's, a, he, he's on the left. And the left has a problem with truth. The left has a problem with, with, with bringing evidence. They make claims without justification, and they're just wrong. And they're just wrong. They're just absolutely wrong. Everything that I've done, all of my work, I've always backed it up with evidence, and uh, everyone's welcome to challenge anything. If I've done something wrong, they can come up and, uh, you know, whatever, and, I, you know, I'll be on the retractor wall, right? Uh, but, you know, uh, can we talk about anything else? Is that, uh, 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 yeah. Hey, Tim Pool, you have any comments? So what you choose to cover as a journalist the question behind the question really is not about editing. Not in the abstract it isn't. The, those attorney generals uh, did admit that Acorn said some horrible things. So now he's jumping over to Acorn. Remember he's being asked about the lie that he just said today. <laughs> right? And all he's done is why? Here's the thing. If you believe in James O'Keefe, if you believe in him, either this guy has integrity as a real journalist, please dig down deep inside and ask yourself why he was just accused of lying and he's saying everything else but addressing that why is he talking about full video tomorrow and he's talking about oh the thing with journalism and this and that now he's talking about acorn the question is was it fair his claim that this guy or the way he presented it as if he was okay with this right, was that fair none of this is addressing that in any way dig put your emotions aside and what you think about james and ask yourself why and this guy you know him if you like him you know he's very good right he's a very effective speaker why would he be dancing around? A guy with the skills that he has. You've seen him crush people many times. They try to challenge him. And, well, this, that, that, that. You know he's good at that. So why is he struggling to answer a simple question of was it fair or was it not fair? Now, some of you that are really, really, you know, a lot of that Kool-Aid has been ingested, you will say to yourself, well, it's a trick question. And if he answers and says that uh, it was fair or not fair, either, uh, anything he says, they're going to find a way to gotcha <laughs> Were the tapes edited? Technically, all journalism is edited selectively, so words are arranged into sentences. Everything is edited. <laughs> Everything is edited. Again, it has nothing to do with the question being asked. The newspapers, if you want to be metaphysical about it, I know you teach philosophy. I was a philosophy major. Yes, it's tech. You know you teach philosophy. What? What the fuck does that have to do with the question? Technically edited. Now watch how I'm, I, I can predict it. He's going to go round and round, bounce around. Never answer the question, and then he's just gonna do 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 do, do and he's gonna he's gonna end with an applause line. <laughs> Watch. But what's really at heart is what you choose to focus on, what stories you choose. So a legitimate criticism might be, well, why do you choose these subjects? Well, the journalists have beats; they focus on one particular area. Seymour Hirsch reported on Vietnam. Usually, that was his, his priority. Upton Sinclair focused on the jungle in Chicago. He was an avowed again supporting himself. <coughs> socialist. I don't care what his politics are. I care whether they present the facts without color. That's my view of journalism. Uh, so I'll, I'll add something. There you go. 
There you go. He never responded in any way whatsoever to the question. Why? First, he's, he's accused of lying. Tim Pool jumps in. Wait, 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 wait. You know, uh, people always say that uh, that uh, Project Veritas lies and they never have an example. The guy just showed an example. <laughs> he literally showed an example and your response is people never have an example. Then the, the, the host does a good job of saying, hey, no, 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 answer the question. What does he do? Oh, well, I'm going to show the full video. And also, journalism and this thing with facts and this and that. And uh, full video, I'm going to show the full video. Yes, yes, yes. And also, you know what I mean? Facts and, and, and editing. And, and by the way, Acorn, Acorn, the thing, the Attorney General, something with Acorn. And also, you know, facts are presented and stuff. And, and everything is edited. Everything is edited. Everything, they, they, they choose things and they have certain beats and such and such. And by the way, you have a thing with philosophy. And I, philosophy. So here's a philosophical, uh, <laughs> what? Answer the question. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is the Debate Me channel. Debate Me in the comment section below. Click on the like button, subscribe, smash that bell. Be well. Holy shiz. Shout out to Ben Burgess. You can see the full video on Give Them an Argument with Ben Burgess on YouTubes.com, the place where scammers go to scam. Happy Sunday.